and welcome back to the final episode of Wedding Wednesdays. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm super excited that you're here because today is the day that we put plans into action, harness the cumulative efforts of many to get children in tuxedos, furniture onto fairways, and cookies into cream. But, you know, dairy free for Tyler. It's been quite the journey so far to picking the venue and then getting the dresses and everything else in between. It's been a lot. Well, the big day is here. We're so excited. Yay. We have Tons of stuff to do. I have left it up to Alicia and her team from before I do events because they have been sensational. I think they may have been one of the best decisions that we made in this entire wedding planning process. Coming in, 10-4. <laughs> Over and out. First tea if you want to come down here. So the start time is at eight and the first thing on the agenda is to let Archive arrive, unload the trucks, and set up the furniture, decor, and accessories. I told them yesterday that it's a long walk. Yeah. It's a long walk. It's a long walk. <laughs> we decided on a mixture of pews and chairs for the ceremony and a bunch of eclectic but chic things for the cocktail hour. So this is the archive team. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Let me know if you need anything at all. Otherwise, do your thing and let's make it beautiful. Okay. All right, you're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Millennials. Over in the ballroom, we have the stage set up going on, and we have Kelly, remember? Our lighting Jesus from San Diego Socialites. Where are you oh, at? Is that you? No, that's not you. And of course, it would not be a wedding without Esther and her team from Wallflower Inspirations. All right, let's do it. They're bringing in the beautiful flowers, greens, rose petals, rose droppings. Don't worry, they're cute. Nope. nope, everything's good so far. And it's going to continue that way. <laughs> For the ceremony tree, they've created this beautiful garland. It's actually going to snake up the entire tree. So how many girls does it take to hold up a garland? <laughs> and in that garland, they're going to use all the beautiful roses and other flowers that are part of our wedding's color story. At the location for the cocktail hour, we are going to be using a circular bar. Yes, Rebecca got her way. And it's fabulous. We also have these beautiful tufted sofas and chairs, and all of these things we got from Archive. Olivia, I also want you to just be on track with what the girls' schedule looks like, just making sure that when Shara is getting in her dress that we go check in on her then. Inside we have all kinds of things going on. We got my girls, Tom from Aqua Vivis, Susie from Susie Jacobs Photography, and the girls from Kissed by AML, you know, my beauty team, and mom. Well, and there's me. No peeking. Kelly's actually building us a light structure that we're gonna hang the sparkle lights from in the center of that circular bar. It is going to be magical. We used white roses to line the aisle, which naturally we also incorporated into the bouquet, along with the dusty color roses, a variety of pale blushes, and some beautiful greens. Oh, yeah. oh. Let's like thicken it and then thin it. Oh, They're gonna actually be coming in this way. Remember Alicia's black balloon idea? Well, we got those too. And look at this, we had scripture verses written in gold ink on each of the balloons by this awesome calligraphy company called To Be Designed. So yeah. I think that I'm just gonna start. Oh, right there. Okay, six, <laughs> Two, three. Olivia, can you grab those ones real quick too? Perfect! <laughs> Let's I do this thing. Time to welcome the guests. Tyler has a 
11 groomsmen, and I have 11 bridesmaids. So the bridal party is pretty thick, even before getting into the parents, family, and these adorable little charmers. So it's gonna take some thoughtful coordination to get us all down there smoothly. Around the chairs, yeah. not through the middle. Not down the aisle. Around the chairs. Yeah. Got it. Here we go, everybody. Are you ready? Okay, you guys can go ahead, start the walk. Okay, you guys, go ahead, remember to smile, take your position up at the altar. You guys look fabulous. The day could not have been more perfect. During setup, it did get a little bit gloomy and a little bit windy. Ah! But I'll tell you what, God had our backs in the end and really answered our prayers because no sooner had we made it to that tree, exchanged our vows and said, I do, did that sunset sing. All my girls looked so beautiful. Ty and his guys, they looked super sharp. Dad officiated the ceremony. So sweet. And mom, well how can you adequately thank a mother? A person that puts you ahead of themselves, who wants only for your happiness, and who's prepared to give you their unwavering loving support, always. You walk through and around, so she doesn't like that idea. For the most part, anyway. I didn't say anything. Mm -mm. But you have the most expressive eyes. It was truly magical. Thanks, Mama. For the cocktail hour, Archive set up the full bar with our signature cocktails. So cute. About fig and time. I can't take credit for that, that was Alicia's idea, but I loved it. We served appetizers, cheese, fruit, and bread. And remember Sasha? She was the singer my mom found. Well, we got her into the mix and she was spot on. And as that's going on, our setup team migrated over to the dinner and reception area to get that all set up and to be ready for the next event. Archive again is in full effect and also wallflower inspiration. Esther and crew made off with the florals from the ceremony and transported them to the dinner tables. Us waste flowers? I think not. All about that cake has arrived and not a moment too soon. Things are moving fast. Whoops. Excuse me. In the ballroom, we're setting up the lights, the band, remember Siren's Crush? Well, they're playing at the dinner and for the dancing. Chin music up, and I'm puffing my chest. We've got Baked Bear set up for our cookies and ice cream and heavenly treats. And the red photo booths, they were a hit, people. So it's about time to cue the music because I am getting hungry. Alicia had the idea of setting up the orchestra along the path to the reception. It was such an amazing, unique idea, and I think it worked out totally elegantly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go line up the bridal party. Before I Do Events did such an outstanding job. They had like five people there, it was crazy. Even still, it's not over. We have an introduction, we have some toasts, we have some dances. I mean, we got time here, people. We even have an outfit change. The back of the dress was actually a body necklace designed by my friend Heather Mora in New York. You're gonna die. It made the dress absolutely breathtaking, stunning, <sighs> and my hair was fabulous, too. wedding wedding video is going to be done by Aqua Vivis and that's going to be posted soon in about a week. So this video is meant to show you the setup and how everything came together because that is very important. The new Mr. and Ms. Tyler Stevens! And the next video is going to show you an overview of the rehearsal dinner, which was beautiful, and the beautiful setting of how the wedding took place. You'll get to see the ceremony, you'll get to see the cocktail hour, and the reception, and some of the dancing. You know, Tyler, he can tear up a rug, I tell ya. And mom, her dancing, I knew about. So there was that. And 
don't even worry, Scott joined her. It was quite a family affair. Even the babies were on the dance floor. You guys are gonna love this next video. I can't wait to show you. Thank you guys so much for following all of these lovely wedding videos. It's kind of bittersweet to be done with them, but I am excited. A big thank you to my mother for making this the most amazing experience planning this wedding. I'm gonna link every vendor's information below because if you're planning a wedding, even if you're in San Diego or not in San Diego, these guys travel and they are the best of the best. I hope you guys enjoyed this series and I'll see you guys next week, but then in January. Okay, bye.